Knife dope. More dope. Come and get your fix. What's up, fuckers? Your boy's back with several batches of dope. Knife dope. That's right, people. These hits don't stop. Man, oh man, am I fired the fuck up. That's right. Just got back in town. Today is uh, Sunday, October 1st. 2023 the year of our lord and savior and i came home to a plethora of more shit to get into um yeah i got a bunch of shit i, I can guarantee you one goddamn thing though it's kind of late and we are not going to get to all of this got to start stretching some of this shit out you know uh but this one full disclosure this was actually arrived before i left on thursday this arrived thursday evening i believe uh that one's coming to us from Traditional pocket knives. Oh, yeah. Then I got this one. I, for, I forgot all about this one. I'm going to show you. know, I never shit you. Straight up forgot about this one. This one's coming to us from River's Edge Cutlery. Big uh, big thank you to Brian from River's Edge Cutlery. Appreciate you, homie. And then I got one from uh, Skiffs. And then I got one, which I've been really waiting for. And that's coming from Applied Weapons Tech. So, man, oh, man, I think what I'll do is I'm going to do these two at a uh, separate time, a different video. This one, as much as I want to get into it, I ain't going to commit to you. We still may look at that one, but we are going to get to this one. That's right. And, um, you know, after I ordered this from uh, TPK, Traditional Pocket Knives, I went ahead to my account and I realized that the last time I ordered a knife from them, was August of 2022. So it had been over a goddamn year since I spent some money over there. So it's only about time that I did, you know. Um, really appreciate Austin and what he does over there. I think um, he's got a great selection of knives. And I kind of forgot about just how good of a uh, selection he had over there. But um, before we get to all that, let's not forget about this guy. Don Farmer, a.k.a. D&K Knives. DNK Knives has got all the dope you need, whether foreign or domestic, and they are now accepting Sezzle. So you can make those irresponsible purchases interest free. Over four payments, I might add. Just be sure to use code KNIFEDOPE for 10% off that purchase. And then once you buy that knife, you gotta mod it, trick it out, make it your own. Head on over to the GOAT, original GOAT that is. Treat yourself. I would. Just be sure to use code FUCKER for 15% off that purchase. Okay, people, the shilling has stopped. Let's get to the dope. All right. Tonight's unboxing knife is this American uh, legend. That's right. Quickly becoming a legend. Uh, we're talking about none other than the official OTF of the channel, which is going to be the Kershaw Live Wire, baby. Live and direct. So uh, let's get to this goddamn thing. Now, I got to give credit where credit's due. This purchase right here has to be, you know, um, credited to my partner in crime, one half of the Blade Cartel, Duty Low, a.k.a. Kev from Duty's Daggers. He notified me of this and um, kind of forced my goddamn hand, you know, not really, but all right, we got some stickers coming in. Let's see here. A little bit of personal information, but we've got a uh, TPK. I've got this one. And I don't got this one either. Happy Halloween. Yeah, goddamn, Halloween's right there, people. Can you believe it's fucking October 1st already? And then we got a couple of other cards coming in. So, yep, you know, that's how we do. All right. Love the box. But I love what's e I love what's in it even more. Traditional pocket knives. Let's see. Where's my... Uh, there we go. Okay, double boxed. I think that this is a um, traditional pocket knife exclusive, so hence why we see that on the on the cover, or rather on the box. This box looks very similar to uh, QSP boxes, and there's a reason for that. We're looking at the uh, Ohio River Jack. Now these are gone; they are to never return. Um, I thought I had missed a train on this one. 
you know, but they had a second sale. Uh, so this is a seconds. I'm going to see here while we take a look at this, if we're going to be able to notice anything that may have put it in the second realm. Uh, but right out the gate, feels solid in hand. This one came in at $125. I, th I don't know what they were normally charging. I think they were about $200, something like that, give or take. But this is looking and feeling great right out the gate. If you fuckers see anything too as to why it might be a second, please let me know. Love these jigged handles. So far, so good. Uh, so symmetrically, everything looks right. Let's go ahead and do the uh, the walk and talk. Now, the website says that the pull strength is about a seven out of ten. I don't necessarily know how that goes, how that's going to go, but we're about to find out. Ooh. Okay. Not very vocal, but it feels good. It's strong. I ain't gonna shit you. It feels nice and strong. Look at that beautiful blade. You know, something else I didn't know was that this, um, the steel on this is actually Bowler M390. No idea. <clears throat> Pardon me. I, um, I just didn't know. We've got no spacing, no gaps on that spring. Everything seems to be nice and even. I'm really having a hard time figuring out why is this, a, why this is a second. I really don't know. I wonder if they meant seconds as in, um, this is the last time you're about to, you know, have this opportunity to get the knife. But um, it looks fucking good. It damn sure does. And I am not a slip joint guy by any means, but I had to pull the trigger on this. Um, walk and talk is, um, you know, at least the talking aspect is not really vocal, but it feels great. Uh, close length is coming in at 3.75. We've got an overall length at 6.68. You've got this uh, cutout, AKA this baby fuller here, which is uh, your only form of deployment. This is a slip joint, so there's no locking mechanism. We're looking at 2.9 inches on that blade length. Beautiful satin finish on the blade. Warren Cliff apparatus. We've got the uh, C Reisner logo, or not logo, but marking right there, M390. And then it's totally sterile on this side. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to hit my boy up to get uh, a slip, a pocket slip, you know. Going to definitely have to start putting this in the pocket. Uh, we've got a blade stock coming in at 118 thousandths. Uh, I think that's a that's a flat grind on that blade. Yeah, full flat grind on the blade. Uh, QSP is, or rather the OEM is QSP, hence why the boxes look identical. Uh, overall weight on this is 3.7 ounces. Now, I think we're going to have enough time to get into the second box, but I'll just put up a couple of quick knives for some comparison. Uh, basically, a little bit of knife flexing. You know how the fuck we do. First up, another QSP knife. Probably my favorite one in my collection, and that's going to be the Penguin Plus. So the Penguin Plus is quite a bit bigger than the uh, Ohio River Jack. Next up, some more Oversea Vibes. The Tucson 129. Hands down, the... Uh, best and favorite Tucson that I've ever experienced. Uh, I'm definitely not a big Tucson guy, but there are a couple of them that I have in the collection. So the Ohio River Jack is also bigger than that. Let's see about putting up some more, shall we? Let's keep, uh, I got an idea. Let's go over to the slip joints. One that just recently was reviewed on the channel and one that's about almost three times the price of this one, or at least of what I paid for it, uh, we're looking at that uh, Jack Wolf Knives, I uh, think Venom Jack. So the uh, Venom Jack is a little bit bigger than the Ohio River Jack. All these goddamn jacks. Next up, up till today, my favorite slip joint. And that's going to be the Lion Steel Thrill. So we can see here that the, uh, the Ohio River Jack is also smaller than that. Let's do two mo. God damn it, two mo. Got to bring some American dope up in here. You know how the fuck we do. Pair of three is in the building. And the pair of three is also bigger than that. Last up, but certainly not least, more American dope for your palate. My favorite knife in the collection. We're looking at the McNeese PM Mac 2, 3.5 rendition. So once again, that ORJ is smaller than that. Yeah, people, um, 
I guess I'm gonna have to start carrying a goddamn slip joint, you know? I carry three knives on the daily, you know? Uh, of course, a tire being able to accommodate that. Sometimes I wear shorts that don't have that fifth pocket, but I try to, um, I try to make it a must that I have that fifth pocket. Blade centering is also there. Yeah, I don't understand how this is a seconds, people. I really don't. I can't see or feel anything that would make me think otherwise. Maybe this one slipped through the cracks. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? What do you fuckers think? Should we get to the next one? Fuck it. Coming in hot. Okay. This one right here is coming from River's Edge Cutlery. And this is one that has eluded me for quite some time. I was able to, I think earlier this year, as a matter of fact, I was able to try one uh, on the secondary market. I actually got to try it. A buddy of mine sent it over to me, but it felt really sloppy. You know, perhaps that had to be deal with the, due to the fact that that was passed around multiple owners, you know, that could be it. Uh, I'm hoping that's what it was. I really am. But uh, let's find out. And let's put this bitch to work. This is going to be the perfect, you know, knife to pull out when you just don't want to threaten anybody or you just have little shit to get to and cut. I can see this is going to be great. I can just already tell. Uh, but definitely going to need a nice uh, slip for it. That's for sure. It's came sharp as a fuck. You know, I never shit you. She's sharp. Okay. Now, these fuckers tend to put personal information in here all the goddamn time, so... I'm going to open that off camera. Like I always tell you people, whenever you see that butcher paper, you can smell the dope through the wrap. That means it's premium dope when you see that river, that uh, that butcher paper. You guys ready for this one? We got a Protec. More American dope. Okay, but which one is it? Now I've had uh I've had one Protec in my collection one time. It stuck around for a little bit, but I ended up getting rid of it. And that one was the Malibu. I actually had the Malibu customized and um it still just it just didn't stick around. It, you know, great knife, whatever. I ain't hating. But this right here. This one is something that I think will be sticking around for a while. This is the Mordax. Uh, this is one that just dropped. I just got it last week. It was the last one they had on the website. Uh, love this color out the gate. Uh, price point on this one was $240. And um, you can see here, right out the gate, making sure there's no... Uh, this is actually a Farron Forge design. Big shout out to the Farron Forge boys. Um, yeah. Feels nice and weighty. The uh, close length comes in at 4.62 inches. It is nice and centered. Uh, we've got one form of deployment, which is that flipper tab. Okay. Woo! Yeah, it's snappy, bro. I ain't gonna shit you. And it comes right back to the house. Buttery goddamn smooth. Look at that fucking thing. Uh, overall length on this is 8.12 inches. Ergonomically, we've got that nice 50-50, or rather, not even a 50-50, a full finger choil. So you can definitely choke up and get that full purchase. Uh, blade length is 3.5. We've got, uh, I thought it was a crown spine, but it's not. But they do have some nice full length swedges going down both sides of the spine. Uh, this is a drop point blade in Magna Cut. Now, the reported HRC on this kind of took me by surprise. They're reporting a 67 to 69 range. That's fucking hard, people. That is fucking hard. We've got a, uh, for the most part, almost a full flat grind on that blade. Gorgeous stonewash finish. Love these aluminum handles. They feel premium. You know, sometimes aluminum handles can, can feel cheap and uh, actually ruin a nice uh, experience for you. But that's not the case with these. Um, we got somewhat of like a matte finish, like a blue matte. Also had that nice stonewash finish on the pocket clip. Would have loved for them to have given us a, uh, a, a titanium pocket clip, but they, you know, it is what it is. 
Uh, stay tuned on that because I think I think I, I ordered something that I think might work. But we can see that they also stonewashed all the hardware, the pivot included. Minimal billboarding. We've got ProTech USA. And then we've got MagnaCut on the backside. Yeah, this is a whole different experience. Uh, the one that I have here in my hands now versus the one that I was uh, loaned. Yeah. See, I could literally shake that motherfucker before and the blade would flop out. That is not the case with this. You know, there's been a lot of companies who have been catching up to ProTech on their button lock, uh, you know, their their lock face geometry, their deployment, the detent, all that shit. Companies have caught up. Um, but I think ProTech realizes that and I think they uh, might be dialing it in because this feels far better than my uh, Malibu did. And the Malibu felt good, but this feels next level. Uh, overall weight on this comes in at 3.8 ounces. Let's put up some comparisons for this one. Uh, so give you guys a better idea on the size of this Mordax. Let's start out with some more American dope. We're going to do this one. The Demco AD20. So actually, that Mordax is uh, it's close, man. You know, the AD20 is bigger, but not by a whole lot. Uh, let's try this one. American Blade Works Model 2. One that has grown on me ever so slowly, but uh, it's managing to stick around still. So we can see the Mordax is bigger than that. Let's do some more, shall we? Let's keep that same button lock energy and let's do it like this. Possibly the company who has uh, done it just as good, if not better, when it comes to button locks, then ProTech. And that is going to be the unofficial overseas knife of the channel, the CJRB Echo. So the Mordex is bigger than that. Next up, the first button lock that I ever purchased, and it's stuck around as well. And that is going to be the Civivi Conspirator. So the uh, Mordex is also bigger than that. Let's do two mo. God damn it, two mo. How about this one? The Voodoo's in the building. No knives. Fantastic, fantastic knife. Love everything that Null Knives is doing. Last but certainly not least, more American dope for your palate. We're looking at the Spyderco Yojimbo 2. So the Mordax is also bigger than that. So let's see. That Mordax is about the same size as the Voodoo. Just a hair shorter than the uh, 20.5. And American goddamn made. And I fucking think I'm liking it. I really do. I really think I'm liking this one. Uh, it's going in the pocket tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. So you know what that means. Made in the USA Monday. My car to Monday. You got a couple of options to go with. But I'm going with Made in the USA Monday. And I'm going to have to carry this goddamn slip joint from now on too. So get ready for that. What do you fuckers think? Tell me all about it. Love you mean it. Until the next time. Cut something, cut someone, just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers!